1997, we finally meet, met Andrew Gualta in the professional ring. Uh, yeah. You destroyed our heavyweight hope. Uh, were you especially motivated by, by the performance that Andrew gave against uh, Riddick Bowe? Yeah, I was, uh, I was definitely motivated by that. You know, Any, anybody that I spoke to and I said, you know, me and Andrew Gualta are going to fight, uh, people would say, ooh, he punches low, watch out. And I was like, you know, I was upset. You know, because I felt that he was going to go punch me low because in both fights with uh, um, Riddick, he punched him low. So, um, you know, I didn't want this to happen to me. And I went out there. I was very focused. I was upset. Plus, he caught me coming out of my uh, camp and I had a great camp. So I was in terrific shape. So uh, I went in there and I just uh, destroyed him. Did you expect more from Andrew? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. You know when you go into a fight, you don't expect to knock a guy out straight away or with a first punch or so. But once I seen that he was hurt, I just kept throwing punches and, uh, you know, the referee stepped in. There were in Polish press and media some gossips after the Oliver McCall, Akin Wanda and Golota fights that you're, your corner using a voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know what voodoo was, is. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. No, man, it was, a, it was no voodoo. Everything was hard work, hard work. I spent time in camp and uh, um, I don't know. Uh, after that, I said that I was going to get rid of all the misfits in boxing. And, um, you know, uh, all the guys that gave me bad fights were the guys that I call misfits. And I got rid of them.